Hi, this is KB2MXV, and I want to show you how to get your D878 code plug into the D578 uh, CPS. What first thing you want to do is uh, make sure both radios are set to the same band plan so they'll work together. All you need to do on the left of the screen here is my 878 CPS, on the right is my 578 CPS. All you want to do in the 878 uh, CPS is go to tools and export data conversion file. I'm just going to put this right on my uh, desktop and I'm going to call this 878 to 578.dcf. So this will just take uh, a few seconds to export. Uh, you cannot open an RTD file from the 878 into the 578 CPS, but the DCF export and open will work. So let's just wait for this to export. I have a big code plug, so uh, it just takes a few seconds. All right, so the export is done. I can now close my 878 CPS. Here's the DCF file. I just made. So now on my 878 software, I'm sorry, on my 578 software, I'm just going to go to file and open. And I'm going to point to my desktop and I'm going to change. Oh, it's already set for DCF file here. If you're on RTD by default, make sure you drop it down to DCF. And the top file here is the DCF file we just made from the 878 CPS. And I'm just going to click open and uh, just give it a few minutes and this will open right up uh, and you can go in and uh, dump it right to your radio again as long as both radios are on the same uh, band mode and I'm going to check this if uh, the APRS information comes in and uh, you're probably going to have to change some optional settings. So let me just check the APRS information if that's all there. Yeah, so you got to do a little bit of work uh, into here, but you can't export the APRS into CSV anyway. So there are a few things you have to update. Optional settings. Uh, I know your key functions are going to have to be because you have a lot more key functions here. And uh, but that's about it. It's KB2MXV.